we'll look at our last two examples in this video. They look longer, but they work exactly the same way. So in this example, the first thing we need to do is get rid of these parentheses by distributing. So we would have 2p minus 8, keep that less than, and then 3 times p is 3p, and then 3 times 1 is 3, and we'd still have minus 6. So we can combine some like terms here. We'd have 2p minus 8 is less than 3p, and plus 3 minus 6 is minus 3, negative 3. And now we want to move our letters to the left, so we'll subtract 3p from both sides. So that would give us a negative 1p minus 8 is less than negative 3. We'd add 8 to both sides, and we get negative 1p is less than 5. Now we need to divide both sides by a negative 1, and because we're dividing by a negative 1, we need to change that middle sign, so we get p is greater than negative 5. So here's our negative 5. p is opening to the p, so p is bigger, so we want to go in the positive direction from negative 5. And it just says greater than, so we'd have a parenthesis there. So that's our graph. Set builder notation, we just copy that. It's greater than negative 5. This should be p actually in there, not an x. And then close the, bra the brace. So that's our set builder notation. Interval notation, then we read from left. So the first thing we get is a parenthesis at negative 5. And then it goes on for forever in the positive direction, so we get a positive infinity in a parenthesis. And that's our interval notation. Let's look at one more problem. So again, we have parentheses. We're going to start by distributing. We would have negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. We'll copy plus 14 is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 2. So we're going to combine our like terms here. So we have negative 4x minus 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 2. And then we need to move our letters to the right. So we'd have plus 2x and plus 2x. This gives us a negative 2x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 2. And then we would add 2 to both sides. So we have a negative 2x is greater than or equal to 4. And then divide both sides by negative 2 and change that middle sign. So we get x is less than or equal to negative 2. So we find negative 2 on our number line. It's opening to negative 2, so that's the biggest it can get, which means we need to be smaller. So we'll go to the left, shade this in. It's or equal to, so we'll put a bracket at negative 2. So our set builder notation is we just copy that. x is less than or equal to negative 2, and close the curly brace. Interval notation, the, we read from left to right. So the first thing we see is a negative infinity, arrow headed to the negative direction, and it goes to negative 2 with the bracket.